Well, hello, beautiful crafters. I am back. Sorry I have been missing in action for quite a while, actually. But I got a bad case of pneumonia and I was very unwell for a while there. But I'm on the road to recovery now and I'm trying to get my energy levels back. So that's enough about that. My illness is in the past. I'm looking forward to the future and let's get into some crafty fun. So back to the very beginning, you would have seen the sketch that I showed. I got that from Pinterest and I do not know who it's from. I don't think it actually had a name on it. So I got out my photos and as you will see, I used a lot of scraps in this video. And I have found a new love for my very old cuddle bug, but I've been having a lot of fun with it lately. You will see that this layout is mainly made of, well it is, it's all made of scraps. I pulled out some of my blue scraps, my grey scraps, I think I've got some black cardstock that I had there scraps of and so I put that through my cuddle bug with an embossing folder and I really like the the highlight that they gave it not the highlight that's wrong but the embossing look see my brain's not working it's the drugs that the doctors have put me on it's fried my brain and that is why I used their sketch because I just couldn't think and the sketch makes it just easier you just look at the sketch and you just follow it and this time round I uh, for the first round of this sketch I did actually follow the sketch quite closely I would say. I'm going to admit that I had a lot of fun scrapping these photos. So I admit I don't actually recall taking these photos but obviously I did and I'm so glad that I did because it's brought back memories of that terrible day. He I don't know what had got into him, but he had decided that he was going to muck up and he was going to muck up good and proper, which he did. So I had sent him to the naughty spot and he kicked and he screamed and I said, right, you get an extra five minutes. And, you know, he kept, I kept increasing the increments of five minutes. So he realised, oh, holy crap, mum needs business here. I better shut up or I'm going to be here all day. So he only got up to an hour. But you know what? An hour in the naughty spot, he never tested me again. So here I went through some of my dies of my cuddle bug and I didn't even know I had this beautiful doily die cut, die, sorry, and oh, I've been using it on so many layouts because I just love it so much. So what I did was I ran it through my cuddle bug and cut out a few of those lovely doily, doily die cuts and now I found a doily for my stash and I'm just putting a bit of gesso on and I'm then going to add some distress oxides in the colour faded jeans as you can see. Now I plan on using this sketch four different ways. So this is going to be basically part one of a of a four part series where I'm going to use one sketch and I'm going to try and get four different layouts from the one sketch by turning it around. So this one is I'm using this sketch the way it's intended to be used, right way up, and I'm following it very closely. So please let me know what you think of this crazy plan of mine. I'm now going to be adding some hickory smoke to my doily, just on top of that lovely faded jeans colour that I've put on top, and I love how this doily turns out in the end. Once I'm happy with the amount of colour that I've put on the doily, I will get some hand, some hands, I will get some water onto my hands and I splatter that all over the doily in lovely little patterns and I think I get, a, oh yes I do, I get a tissue and just pick up some of that excess, excess water and there I go again and I'm just using that hickory smoke to just add a bit more of the weathered look to the doily. All I'm doing is alternating between the colours faded jeans and hickory smoke and just adding layers of colour onto that doily and I just keep doing this until I'm happy with the end result. So here's a close-up of that doily. Sorry about the glare but I really liked how it turned out. So back I'm just following the sketch once again and I'm going to try and put that doily behind all those layers of paper that I've got there. I'm just playing around with the placement of things and oh my gosh I love those die cuts and you know what upsets me I didn't know I had that that die set man all this fun I could have had and I didn't know about it 
So this piece of ephemera here is from Scrapping Fun Kids. Uh, I think it was a September, September issue, but anyway, I love that clock. So I'm just going to add some of that faded jeans to the edges of it just to tie it into my layout a bit more. And it's just something that I love doing, inking my edges. So I think I mentioned earlier that all those pieces of paper there are all scraps of paper. And then in my scrap stash, I found this lovely wood grain piece and I do end up using it. So what I'll end up doing is that, love, that, that blue one that's under there, I'll end up taking that off and the wood grain goes there and I just think that looks so much better. I'm just adding some embossing ink to my die cut and then I'm going to add some embossing powder in this lovely navy blue colour that I've got. And I love how these turn out in the end with the embossing. I just think it just brings it more to life and ties it in with the layout a bit more. So once I, again, I am diving into my scraps and I'm going to make two little banners out of this scrap piece of paper. And I'll put one on top, there you go, and the other one to the side, I think I do. Yep, there it goes, to the side, and I'm happy with how that looks. And I think that's what it's like in the sketch. I really can't remember. That is so sad. So look at the detail on that die cut. And especially with that embossing, it just brings it out. Man, I love it, I love it, I love it. I was so happy with this. And then I only land up using, no, I do land up using the two of them. I just looked at my layout and I do land up using the two. So just roughing the edges up of the, the banners. And yeah, I just wanted to add a bit more texture to it. And then I do go in with the faded jeans, this, Oh, no, I don't. It's not faded jeans. I'm using a Mementos ink. There you go. Didn't know I was using that. So the ink is actually called Danube. I think I butchered that. It's spelt D-A-N-U-B-E, and it's a Memento resistant dye ink. And this is something that I like to do. I like to ink the edges of all my pieces of paper. Um, in, it's a personal choice. I think that by inking all the edges of those pieces of paper. It just ties everything in together. Um, some people don't like doing it, but once again, there's no rules in scrapbooking, and you know you all do what you what you like. So as you can see, I'm now just going around and I'm going to ink the other piece of paper. So I do that to all of them, and um, for some uniformity, I do use that Memento the newbie blue ink. And I do use my ATG gun to adhere everything together. And I'm pretty sure I do most of it off camera. So my background paper is going to be this lovely, it's this lovely paper from Cartabella. And it's not that old. It is from my stash. It's from 2006 and it's called Flora. And I actually loved those black and white stripes. For some reason, it reminded me of prison. And I thought, well, in a way, he was in prison. He was in the naughty spot. So what I'm doing now is I'm just backing it on some navy blue cardstock and I did trim around all the edges, just a smidgen. These thickers are from American Crafts and they're called Hello Joy. And I'm just going to pull out that word that says trouble because he was in a lot of trouble and I'm going to just curve the word around. And this is what I love about these thickers, that you can just curve them. You don't have to use them straight. You can... Um, do whatever you want with them and so I basically just curved it all around the corner of that um, that photo and I quite like the effect of that. Once again I'm diving into my old stash and I'm using these oh, what are they um, tile stamps with all these lo lovely letters and I just what I did to make it easier is every time I tried to spell a word I just wrapped washi tape all around it so that that way Instead of stamping one at a time, I could just stamp the whole word. And I'll end up making up the words mind, manners, and now using these lovely um, you know, tile letters, whatever they're called. And then I'm going to also use some of my mini letters to spell out the other other words like my and I and did and, you know, you get the idea. And basically, it's going to read... Mind my manners, I did not, so now I'm in the naughty spot. And um, I actually found that in pin interest. And when I saw it, I thought, yes, I'm using it on these photos. It is just so appropriate. 
okay we're getting to the end of my video uh, there are some close-ups coming up but I want to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for um, being patient with me and um, I hope I haven't lost too many subscribers in my absence I haven't really checked um, I guess I'll soon find out but um, yeah I am back I'm ready to go and I've got lots of ideas, so maybe getting sick was good because while lying in on my sick bed, I actually thought a lot about scrapbooking. But anyway, bye everyone, and I will see you soon.